My god, we're still in this place. You know, you think that Viper Manor would be in a lot more interesting place rather than being just a generic area, but whatever. Anyways, folks, welcome to uh, Chrono Cross, and we have plot. This man is our secret weapon, Hell's Cook. Why don't you just call him Chef Ramsay? You're the cook, Orcha. What have you done to him? We had him eat some quadfid seeds found in Hydra Marsh. He has the power to release one's dark side. After that, we just ring a special bell, and next thing you know, we have Hell's Cook, Orcha. How horrible. But why, Orcha? We need him to steal the dragon's tear from Godolf. Of course, his true self has no idea what he's done. Now prepare yourself. Who knows what this crazy man will do? Yeah, we're not having that. Because first off, this is a video game. Second off, you guys are dicks. You're Sir Lynx, but why are you here? Actually, this man ain't Lynx. What? It's too hard to explain. And apparently Harley's portrait, they kind of screwed up and didn't really bother to implement Harley's portrait, but that's fine. Don't you go interfering with my cooking. Actually, you'll make a fine ingredient for my soup. Let's get cooking. And now it's time for us to fight Orcha the Hell's Cook. And... Eh. What can I say? Heal accordingly and don't die. That's pretty much like a no-duh in a nutshell. I probably should heal us after that freaking roach fight that we did do. So that's probably what we're going to end up. Uh, let me see. Now, the Hell's Cook, he's, um, let's see, firing it? He has one dangerous attack that can relatively hurt you. But other than that, he's not too bad. He does, he does hit you with a very hilarious ladle, though. He has 200, he has 28,000, 2800 HP. Yeah, I actually did research this time. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm sorry guys, like I don't mean to have like a RPG I I know I'm not an RPG encyclopedia when it comes to these type of games. That's why I just usually go for like a guide that shows me the stats of bosses and whatnot. I'm trying to actually create my own type of template for bosses. So I don't have to, you know, use Wikipedia sites, because after a while I'm gonna end up going to RPG territories where I don't have details. Like, when it comes to, like, eventually Kingdom Hearts or whatever, what have you, I'll still have info here and there, but relatively enough, I kind of want to just try to implement my own. Kind of like how certain other YouTubers end up implementing it. Like, it really all depends. Like, I know H.C. Bailey, he has, like, the details of the monsters right in front of him, and that's good, but... I, I kind of prefer to just have like the monsters stats on screen and whatnot, but eh, what are you gonna do? It's just me. I'm just trying to be a little bit authentic with my RPG LPs. I don't want them to be just generic. Oh, they're just just like everybody else's. Even though you're all gonna be just doing the same thing in every RPG, no matter what. So that's just me. I, I just wanted to get that out of the way. You guys already know how I feel. I sometimes talk here and there about editing processes that it doesn't really go into play because I'm a lazy douche. <laughs> I'm trying not to be though. I'm trying to change that aspect. You kind of gonna have to change that when you're trying to be with somebody. Trust me. If you want to, if you if you want to be with somebody, you must be a hardworking man. You cannot be lazy. You must show that you have the confidence to be a good man and support all the way. Anyways, he hasn't really done anything that can warrant us getting killed. Now, you may have guessed that the reason why I said that Crash in the last episode will probably be with us for a long time, it's more because of the fact that he's gonna be our, what, what does I like to call it, our go-to man. He's gonna be the kind of person that's gonna be with us for Practically the entire game. I would say you can't also get Zoa because he's also going to be on the team as well. But as of right now, we're pretty good. I actually, I actually do want Harley to initiate her moonshine, which will be able to go ahead and help us be 
take a little bit less damage from Hell's Cook's magical attacks. Because you never know. Alright. Star not really doing too well in terms of stamina, though. So we're going to have to block. Ooh, ladle. Ladle. Okay. Crash, you seem to have more stamina, bro. Oh, you're almost dead. Really? Wow. Uh, alright, whatever. Why are you shocked? I don't know. I, I thought that this guy would be a little bit tougher, but I already said, I already established that he's not as strong as he looks. I mean, look at him. He's just a cook. What can cooks do? Nothing. All they can do is cook, and that's it. Just because you put your name as Hell's Cook doesn't mean anything. Aw, spice of life. Uh, no. See, here's the problem with that. You just healed yourself, and I already, already established, like, in any video game, when bosses heal themselves, I don't like it. Time for a Lunar Attack. Or Lunarary Tech, I don't know, whatever. Not gonna lie, that move still looks cool. I'm not sure when we're gonna get, um, dude. You missed like twice, bro. Oh, he's dead. Okay, never mind. Okay, cool. You know what? You made up for it by actually killing him. <laughs> 28 of 28. Woohoo. Yay. He killed a guy. <laughs> Sir Lynx has gone mad. I just, we just told you that we're, uh, I told you he's not Lynx. Uh, I have a feeling I've done something terrible. They saw me gluten, gluten as a weakness. They saw they saw my gluten as a weakness and used me. I need more discipline. Nah, you're fine, dude. I want to make it up to you. I want you to take me with you. Why does that? And you're gonna just yeah, you're gonna just force him to our party. Yo, these characters are as bad as freaking RP as Pokemon characters. It's like, eh, I want to join you. Why? Eh, I just have the obligation of joining you. All right, whatever. I'll take it upon myself to make sure Riddle leaves the premise safely. Please distract the soldiers while we make our escape. Sure. I'd like to thank everyone for the bottom of my heart. I shall be heading to the Hermit's Hideaway to take care of my father. Please be sure to stop by when you get the chance. Don't worry about us. I'll make sure to wipe out all these poor buffoons. Thank you. What do you plan to do after all this? I'll be returning here. Eh, why don't you join us? Thank you, I'm honored. Actually, he can't join us because we already have him in our party already. It'd be kind of redundant. Harley, why ask a question? I don't, I'm, I'm confused by that. It's a bit confusing considering the fact that you can't have two Norises. Riddle, however, she can join us, but Norris? No, we already have a Norris. We don't need another one. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... Well, this one, I'm not entirely sure there's a save point over there because the thing is, is that... Oh, hello. Okay. I know this is going to happen. Apparently, after you've done a bunch of stuff, you have to take out poor army. Lovely. Say hello to the poor patrol. They're white in their enemies. You know what that means, right? Well, we can miss, first off. You have one more boss fight in, uh, in the Viper Manor. I recommend being fully prepared because unlike the Hellscook and that ridiculous Roaster... You guys already know who we're going to be fighting. It's actually pretty obvious. The game kind of already, like, hinted it, like, too many times already to a point where it's kind of like, like, no duh. Alright. 
So these guys are not as strong as I thought they would be. Well, then again, they're patrol enemies. They're mooks. Mooks are never strong in any video game. Well, no, that really depends. Some mooks can actually take you off guard. Uh, they don't really do any elemental abilities. Well, I just learned to not continue. Because they're going to keep infinitely showing up. So, we want to avoid them now. Because apparently they won't let us go down. That's great. Looks like we're just going up then. It's kind of like the only path we got left. Alright, let me see. We're all fully healed. Yeah, we are. Alright, cool. Alright, moving on. That sucked. Now, hello. Hello. Oh no! By the way, I love that there's a new armor over there. Where might you be off to, Sir Lynx? I guess we can't talk our way out of this. Nope. Oh. Alright. Why did you guys just attack us like regular people? And wasn't there four of you? We got ourselves a new enemy in here, and it is. The, per the Pora Sergeant. Oh no, I wonder if he's as strong as the other two. And no, he's not. Really? Guys, come on. You guys are not that strong. You guys are as bad as the Magitek soldiers in Final Fantasy XV. I can make that reference because this is not dated. <laughs> I really need to record more so that they can be dated. Wow, that guy died. He didn't even get a chance to fight or nothing. He just outright died. Hmm. I feel almost sad for him. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Okay, I would say that if you do manage to take any, like, damage in that fight, be sure to heal before you fight the next guy. Ugh. Hmm. Hey, you're up. Ah, look at that. You are strong, but Gor Gorbike is stronger. I think this is the point where the game just kind of just gives up. Like, it just say whatever. Anyways, it's time to fight Gorbike. Or Jarubek. Whatever. Basically, he has the same exact HP as the Hell's Cook, Dark Innate Enemy. And the only thing that you're going to have to worry about is that he's a little bit stronger than the Hell's Cook. And that he has one specific attack that can really do a lot of damage. Since he is a robot, you might guess what that attack might actually be spoiler alert it has something to do with a rocket and a Mega Man from Mega Man V try to guess it, it, did you guess it wow you took a lot of damage from that huh well, that's a good thing you're not full of yellow that would have sucked rocket fist yes this is his most damaging move um Never mind. I don't think that's the, I don't think that's the move. I think I think it's another move that's his most damaging. Or I could be totally wrong. And his party that really is all he can do. If that's seriously the his strongest move in the game, I mean his strongest move in this fight, then um, all right, that's uh, that's a little bit of a weight off my shoulder. But since it is playing regular battle music and not actual boss music, I guess the Hellscook was like the only person who counted as a uh, as a gave a crap boss, which is actually kind of sad when you really think about it. But that's actually, ugh. I'm not a huge fan of when the game doesn't really play boss music for certain particular battles, because then it, it it makes you have a false sense of security. It's like, oh, these guys are these guys are not that strong, and then you fight them, and you're like, oh my god, why why am I dying? <laughs> why am I dying? You know what sucks about this, though? We won't be getting any of the summon ability. Oh, no, no. I think it's hair cutter I was thinking of. E oh, no. It's not hair cutter either. Okay. Um, never mind. I don't think it's anything. I don't think he really has an actual move that can really harm us. That's actually kind of sad. All right. Whatever. 
to be able to protect us from whatever nonsense he's going to be pulling, let's go ahead and increase our magic defense. Because you never know. I noticed that half of the bosses now are not really doing elementals, except for the Hell Cook. He's the only one that actually did elemental attacks. This guy is just doing outright techniques. And doing physical attacks because he thinks it's funny. Weird. This is actually what's her name? Is, uh, Lucia's is creation, by the way. This is the person that she made when she was talking about when we were in, when we first got to Viper Manor. She said that she created something like this, and we never really see this creation until now. So that's actually kind of, that's kind of cool how the game foreshadows that you're going to see something later in the game. I like when games foreshadow correctly and not foreshadow poorly. There are some games that foreshadow a lot of things poorly. Tail series is one of them, because sometimes they kind of are hot. They're kind of like a no duh moment. Also, if you guys are wondering what Tails game I'm playing first, of course, the the first Tails game is of course always going to be the one that everybody will probably LP, unless they're doing the entire Tails game. It's going to be Tails Symphonia, guys. What's wrong with you guys? I'm going to get to Tails Symphonia eventually, just not yet. That's going to be a little bit of a major one. Yeah, I don't do hints all that well, more so because I can't figure them out. And I'm not really good at them. I just usually just announce what I'm going to be doing next later on. And I just run with it. But I do end up, like, trying to... I don't really surprise anyone with that much hard to say. <laughs> I was thinking of bringing a friend of mine who loves Tales of Symphonia, like the Plague. He's not a big fan of the second one, but... But you know what? I probably should bring him just so he can just suffer with me. Because courage is the magic that makes people want to vomit and turn things into reality. <laughs> oh, God. I hate that sequel so much. By the way, Gorbik, you are living. You are a trooper. You're surviving longer than the Hell's Cook. And as I say this, you're probably going to start limping. Vigora. Or Vigora. What'd that do? Uh, hmm. No, actually, I'm serious. What'd that do? By the way, you guys notice something different? You guys notice that? Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say that they're something different. Huh. Okay, I don't know what that did, but let's kill him before he... I think that probably increases attack strength. Meaning he's gonna oh look you're dying as I figured because apparently I'm always right Seriously, what is wrong with this game? This game is just nuts Ooh, ooh, oh Oh, okay. I know what it did Vigoro makes him so that he doesn't lose stamina that quickly so he just managed to go ahead and just do a full-blown combo on Crash without any problem. Either that or it just didn't allow him to miss. Which can be relatively legitimately bad. Because if he doesn't miss, that means, you know, he, he, he kind of got to be a dangerous. Luckily enough, he only healed once, so it's not too bad. I would heal us all, but... Eh, I don't have any worries. Thanks, Gabe, for having a camera that obscured his death. God, I guess it was just too violent that they had to block it. <laughs> I was like, no, we cannot show this. It's too violent. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, good. You guys are all um, healed again. I keep forgetting we keep getting items from these guys. All right, now what, you bastards? Oh, snap, he killed him. Hey, where are you? What are you going to do? <laughs> Stop for this, baby. Now go! Go and destroy them! Seriously? Another boss fight after another? And it just stepped on him like it ain't no thing. Are you serious? Are you ser- Okay, this came out of nowhere. 
This was a shock to me. This what I was not expecting. Welcome. To, this is Galliant. He is... Oh, crap. I don't have any details of him. Quick, pass me. Put up a... Wait. We do a lot of damage to... Well, then again, Link's and Surge is... Um, attack strength starts to increase once you get to a certain point in the game. I think he has one dangerous attack, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really a huge fan of a boss fight right after another, but, you know, it's a good thing you can heal right after a fight, and you can really bounce back very quickly. Of course, we don't want him to have full, um, yellow innate, so Crash is gonna be our main two, our main man for this, so we're gonna strengthen him, and not strengthen Lynx for once, cause, you know, why not? Crash, my man. I need you to go all yellow, my bro. I mean, not go yellow. Wait, if I use anti-yellow, will that stop him from using yellow attacks? Or Wait, what the hell? What the hell? Whoa. Why? Wow. Okay. This is, um, he's, uh, <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, just kill him, because holy crap. I thought this guy was a threat. He is not a threat. In fact, he is less of a threat. He's more so of a waste of my time. He's not even worthy of a star. Wow. All right. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. He has a screw. All right. Okay. Moving on. That was pathetically retarded. Oh, no. You're up again. Oh, I see. That's the difference between you. You have, like, infinite stamina. I thought we already destroyed it. Over here. It must be a new type. Run like little sissies. Because uh, apparently reasons. It's literally chasing after us. This is stupid. This is ridiculous. This is hilarious. <laughs> hey, come back here. I just want to sell you Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> no, we don't want any Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scout, how douchebag. That's right behind us. Go up, keep going. Wait, what are we gonna do? Drop a chandelier on him? Sure, that's what we're gonna do. Or we're we gonna jump out the window. What are we doing? No, we're trapped. We're not, we're not trapped. What do we do? We don't have time. Okay, we got no chance to fight him now. Wow, okay, whatever. Guys, we could have clicked the button. I mean, I, that would have made a little bit more sense if we never clicked the button when we first got here, but we know where the button is. Eh, whatever. I'm not gonna complain. This is stupid. Anyways, time for a second fight with Galleon. Hot edge. Uh-oh. His hand of mine is burning red. This loud roar tells me to beat the hell out of you. Oh, that actually hurt a bit. I kind of want to heal that. I hate that Nostrum is like literally all the way at the end of my freaking elemental grid. Whatever. That doesn't matter. But I guess that is his most damaging move. I wonder if he has the same exact HP as, you know, when we first fought him. Oh. One way to find out. Okay. So, Galliot, my bro. I'm sorry to say, but you are not on my five. All right, let's just cast Tornado on him. Oh, look at that. He's dead. All right. Oh, it's playing the victory music. Does that mean we actually won, or does that mean nothing? Probably means nothing. Whatever. Hey, now we got a mithril. Yeah. He keeps giving out the very fancy stuff. Can you please destroy this place? There's a button that lowers the ladder inside the bookshelf. Hurry, you have a little time. You could have told us that but when we were going up. Once again, you keep, you keep, you keep proving to me that you're a douche. I rise again. Uh, 
Who won't be able to make it up here? Harley? Really? <laughs> really? It can jump! Step aside. Don't be foolish. Um... I have no idea what's going on. Okay, and here it goes. Yeah, get screwed. Over here, they're up there. We got them now. Okay, this is endless. Break through the window, do it now. Are you really just, okay, you know what? Yeah, forget it. <laughs> it's like, forget it. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing that we landed softly on hay. Which by the way, these things, oh, these things are going wild. What the? Where'd you come from? Don't worry about it. It's not like you ran into some trouble up there. What are you gonna do? The poor assorted are all over the place. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's... <laughs> it should be interesting. Okay, leave it to me. Yeah, we're not fighting all of them. I ain't got time for that. I got things to do. I think if you do say take them all out, you probably do end up fighting them. But you know what we're gonna do? Chocobos! Wow, look at that frame rate! Ah, look at that frame rate! So much frames! My precious frames! <laughs> wow, that looks so terrible. Oh, man. This is great. <laughs> you are... Why did you save us? You oppose the poor military. Gorbach, Jarbik, whatever. Finds that interesting. Jarbik only takes orders from one who is stronger. Thus, Jar Jarbik will join you in your battle. Alright, whatever. I know he's a robot, but I don't feel like speaking robot. Of course. Wow, you know what? This is actually surprising. We almost have every single char- all- No, actually, no, we don't. Never mind. I'm dumb. I was gonna say we almost have all characters, but I just remembered that the Surge characters we don't have. Colorborn, Gore, Gyrovic, whatever you need. I keep changing this guy's name. I should just call him- Just call him Gyro at this point. Let's escape while we still can. There should be a boat ready. Let's head to Hermit's Highway. Yeah, suck it, losers, you bastards. Wow, this was a long-ass episode. Alright, guys. Um, We got ourselves a boat now. Meaning we have a lot of places to explore. But we will be going to Hermit's Hideaway in the next episode of Chrono Cross. I've been CSX, and I'll see you guys next time. Laters.